In today's video, I'm going to do a masterclass review of Gordon Ramsay's charred cauliflower steak with an olive pesto and sautéed mushrooms. Detailed steps and the complete ingredient list is in the description. Start off by cutting the cauliflower. The key here is to keep the stem intact. To get that steak-like shape, you can take about an inch or so of the sides, then cover with olive oil, harissa powder and salt. Prepare all the remaining ingredients before we head out to the grill. Mushrooms, shallots, garlic, olives and the mint leaves. For today's cook we're going to use the Fogo charcoal black bag. It lights fast and gets hot fast. I'm going to let the grill come up to about 400 degrees and then sear the cauliflower directly over the hot fire for that awesome char and flavor. Once you got a killer char on your cauliflower, put in a cast iron pan and add some butter. The next step here is to add some stock and then put it back on the grill at indirect heat of around 375 degrees and let that cauliflower cook for another 10 minutes until it's tender and done. Next I'm going to sear the mushrooms. When you sear mushrooms, add a little bit of oil of oil at a time because the mushrooms will absorb it. Salt and pepper to taste and then add the shallots. Mix the olives together with some olive oil, lemon zest and juice and also add it to the mushrooms. Finally add capers, mint leaves and top it off with some lemon zest. All right guys, our cauliflower steaks are done and boy, it looks amazing and it smells absolutely amazing. Um, so basically, let me tell you guys a little bit about the backstory of this. Um, I mean, so basically when I sat down and thought a little bit, what kind of videos can I do in 2020? I kind of, you know, I always like to think, what is it that, uh, you know, that gets me out of bed, that motivates me, um, that kind of excites me? And so one of the things that I do a lot is watch videos on Masterclass, you know. Um, you know, there's all these like famous guys teaching how to cook, you know, yeah, I don't know, teaching how to shoot video, <laughs> stuff like that. And so I, I find it really interesting. You can learn a lot of, stu uh, lot of stuff. And um, one of my favorite classes is actually Gordon Ramsay. And so I saw, I saw a lot of his cooking videos and he does this like cauliflower steak. And I was just like, wow, wouldn't it be cool if we do like a review, kind of like if I was to cook Gordon Ramsay's recipes but you know, not in the kitchen, but on the grill, add a little bit of extra flavor, that layer that only the smoke, the charcoal can add, and kind of just see you know, how it comes out. Because it kind of also combines with my other passion, which is just sort of like, just go for it. You know, like even though I've never done this before, um, you know, I didn't really know if it's gonna come out good on the grill or not. You know, I just wanna try it. You know, I like to try new things and, and learn new things, and you know, here we are. 
so let me let me try this out um I mean, it looks pretty amazing. You know, I had to substitute a couple of things. Um, Gordon Ramsay has these incredible um, ingredients, you know, that I, um, you know, that I couldn't find in my supermarket. I guess some of them are seasonal. I couldn't get the porcini uh, mushrooms. I had to, I had to substitute shiitake. Uh, I couldn't find the uh, the chai flowers. You know, those like he uses these like really, really beautiful like pink flowers for the decoration. And I just found something similar, you know, that was kind of like reddish pink looking just to get that kind of similar kind of look. Um, yeah, I mean, let's go for it. You know, I mean, it smells absolutely amazing. Um, I hope it tastes as good as it smells. Let's go for it. Well, so the cauliflower is definitely cooked, very tender. Oh yeah, let's get a mushroom. So we have a piece of cauliflower, olive, and a mushroom. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. The, the, what's it called? The shiitake mushroom. Very nice, very meaty, and very earthy. And the cauliflower, it just absorbed all that flavor. Like, it's very, how do I describe it? It's like buttery. I guess, you know, it has a lot of, um, it, it absorbed a lot of the, the butter as well, you know, so it has this buttery, sort of milky, silky kind of flavor. Mm. Damn. Oh. Wow, this is great, yeah. So the, okay, the mushrooms really kind of take this to the next level. Because, so what, what I, you know, almost like unknowingly, you know, I, I didn't know what to expect, but what I, what I was able to do is put like a bit of a crust on the mushroom, so it's almost like a bit crunchy. The, the mushroom is like meaty, so it kind of adds really nicely with the cauliflower, you know, the vegetable. I mean, this is a vegetable, this is a vegetarian dish, but it tastes a little bit like there's some meat in there, it's a lot of flavor. It's, it's incredible. Mm. Oh, check this out. Let me try, I mean, I got a bite of everything. Like, here's some black olive, let me try one of those. Get that over here to the front. A little bit of that garnish of that red. Um, what is this? Actually, it's, this is like a micro herb, like a, a, a red beet sort of garnish. I'll put all the information, you know, all the ingredients that are used, the quantities and stuff like that. I'll put it in the description of the video. Mm. This is fantastic. I, I really like it. Wow. Really good stuff. And very, I don't know, it's even sweet. I guess it's from the cauliflower. The cauliflower is like sweet. The mushrooms are earthy and, you know, a little salty. The olive oil, it just combines like really, really well. A bit of sour from the capers and olives. Mm. Mm, this is good stuff. I love it. All right. I mean, so, so what can I say? So basically, my plan is I want to shoot um, a couple more videos from Gordon Ramsay's masterclass. So stay tuned for the next couple of weeks. I have some, you know, some more of those recipe reviews sort of coming up. But I mean, just this. I mean, this recipe is totally adaptable to the grill. Like you saw it, it's very easy. Um, you can you can put the cauliflower steak directly on the grate, sear, get a nice sear, a nice little bit of a crust, uh, a little bit of sear marks on there, and then put it in your cast iron. Um, you know, do the same thing on your grill that you can do in your oven, and and yeah, it comes out absolutely spectacular. Um, you know, would I eat it as a as a meal by itself? Well, you know, I guess it's it's January, February, so it's the time of the year that we're all. Most of us are probably on a diet, uh, counting calories and that kind of stuff. So you know, this this will this is probably a good meal to have by itself. But otherwise, you can you can totally make this almost just like a side dish, or even as like a starter or so. You know, something totally different where people are like, "Wow, what is this?" And you explain it, and people are like, "Wow, can I?" You know, let's cut it into you know 16 pieces, and each one has like a little piece, and it'll be a culinary. Uh, journey that you know a lot of people haven't had before so yeah 
I hope you like this video and I really hope I can inspire you guys to do something like this at home and just try something new. Don't be afraid and just go for it. And I hope to see you again next week. If you like this episode, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell and also give us a like and share the video. Thank you so much. See you next week.